And hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, we got a lot of people and in there. Hello. Uh oh, and I've got an echo. Welcome to the stream. Hang on. Thank you very much for joining me. A lot of people in there. Oh. There we go. We got her. <clears throat> okay. So let me uh, let me look through the list here. We've got quite a few people today. I'm I'm happy. Thank you all for coming. I got David D. Mutersball in there. David, how you doing? Uh, Minnesota Maker. Ryan Buttram. Brian Stone. And... Play Games Bad. Hello, Ron. Good to see you again. And there's D. Good afternoon. I think that's got us all caught up. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, my lighting's a little bit low here. If I can uh, turn that up just a little bit. <clears throat> Don't think I'll be doing anything in Fusion so I can close that window down. So, I guess let's start with the obvious. We have... Uh, We have a new logo, thanks to the awesome Robbie Mack. He has designed me a new logo, and I appreciate that. He did an amazing job. Um, the way that man's brain thinks is just blows my mind. I wish I had a tenth of the artistic ability that uh, Robbie Mack has. Uh, I never would have thought of that. I have been struggling trying to come up with a logo, some kind of a logo. For months tried different things and uh, this is what we come up with and I love it so thank you very much Robbie Mack I truly truly appreciate it uh, Canadian maker project change the name uh, you might have to type that a third time there Ron you missed it twice <laughs> Change the main name I meant. So, there's the obvious, the obvious uh, first change to the channel. So, uh, let's see. Other than that, I've been continuing on the printer. You can see off there to the left. Uh, the Ender 3 is now switched up to red. Uh, I'm kind of at a bottleneck on the big printer. I got some pieces and parts to put together here in just a little bit. Uh, but I won't be able to finish the job that I'm working on because I'm waiting on some bolts. Uh, they're on their way from Xyltech. And then I have some other bolts coming from uh, Amazon. So all of that should be here sometime this week and I'll be able to go further down the road. I still need to take the extruder carriage off and put in the four little M3 nuts that I forgot to put in so that I can put my belt clamps in and tension that belt but that's looking pretty good. It's coming along. Um, came, it came out actually the way I wanted it to so hey thank you very much Canadian Maker Project 10 bits I certainly appreciate that, Ron. Every bit helps. Thank you so much. Got a lot of projects on the, on the printer list now. So that printer, uh, that Ender 3 is going to get quite the workout. I'm going to try to keep it running 24-7 until I get caught up. Minnesota Makers liking the Xyltec filament as well. Are you using the... Uh, just the regular PLA or are you using the carbon fiber? I know D really loves the carbon fiber and that's what he's been using to build his printers with. I'd like to get a roll of that. I want to get a roll of uh, bright yellow and maybe, I don't know what else. I'll have to look and see. It just depends on how much I can get. But those two I know wouldn't mind having a brilliant blue as well. Just PLA so far. 
Well, so far, everybody, I've not heard anybody say that it prints bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dive right in with both feet, and I'm gonna get some, and uh, keep on printing. So I printed the brackets I need to mount my bed. They finished printing last night, and this morning I got up and started printing legs for my laser. No, actually, I printed a rose last night. After the clips, I started a rose. Changed over from my green filament to the red. And while I had the red filament on, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and start printing laser brackets. So I've already got one foot printed. It's printing the second uh, foot for the laser frame. I have just enough... Uh, 2020 extrusion to build the laser so actually bought just exactly enough to be able to do my printer and the laser uh, I'll be placing another order for alley stuff hopefully in a week and a half two weeks whatever a little over a week and a half uh, as far as I know that's my wife's intention so we will uh, be starting another printer build everything is getting ready to pick up speed and I am feeling the pressure because I I've got a lot of things to do decided to get this printer up and running so that I can have two printers making parts and we will make some quick progress on Allie's printer and see where we go from there a lot of projects on the list more than I can do so the good thing about that is now my channel should start having a lot more content, a lot less just hanging out and chatting. I don't know, I kind of feel like I broke over a hump where I'm on the downhill slide now and able to uh, make some good strides. It's just like I said, the bottleneck right now is getting things printed. <coughs> so. Let me go to, let's see, let me switch over to the main printer can and let's let's just get a little work done. How about that? Enough talking and let's get a little bit of work done, okay? So let me see here. And what do we got? Brian. Brian, thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate it, brother. You're awesome. You made it on my leaderboard. It's you and David and Ron on the leaderboard. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. You're awesome. I've got an awesome audience and, and awesome bunch of followers. Thank you all. All right, so now where was I going? To the printer cam. Printer cam. There we go. All right, I'm gonna step over here and try to be able to see what's going on. I think I can. So don't mind if I have to look back to make sure I've got the frame, the camera in frame. So obviously I've got a mess here. I've got the leg going for the uh, laser. Here's the leg I printed this morning actually going to go like this and if I can hold all this in front of the camera without dropping it see that so it's going to be the the leg I'm going to have two bolts go into T nuts on each side in each direction and one of the bolts the one that ends up going into the end of the extrusion will not be on a t-nut I'm going to tap this out to six millimeters and run a decent length six millimeter bolt through the hole here into the center of the extrusion because I believe that would be much stronger than even using the T-bolt uh, T-nuts. So every corner will have one piece that'll be threaded with a six millimeter bolt, and then three locking T-nuts. I'm debating 
on also making an inside corner, a small little in, inside corner. Go here with a bolt in each side with a T nut to give it even more strength. But first things first. So there's the leg. I figured I'd go ahead and start printing these laser parts since I had red already on the machine. That's what I'm going to use. I printed a rose out for my son. He asked if I would print one out for him, like I printed out for my wife. And so once I got the red on there, I just started printing. Well, that's the first of the laser parts. Many to go. And then I've got my bed here covered in junk. Let's see if I can set this down without spilling it. And I printed out brackets that I'm going to use for the bed. D sent me the file to it. I can't see chat, guys. I don't. I'll pop back here and check it every now and then. Um. Wow. My bits are bits are climbing, and I got two subs now. That just makes my day. Okay. So the goal is. Let's see here. I've got my fittings, my brackets here. I, I need more room. Cannot wait till we get over in the other house where I've got a full basement to set up. Um, I think I showed in a video in the past, not the very la last one, I don't think, but the one before maybe. These are my carriage brackets. I have designed myself, so they probably won't work, but we're going to try it. And this is what the bed is going to attach to. Now this piece is just a sample piece of extrusion that I got in there to test it with. And I do not have the, do not have the bottom roller on it yet. I'm waiting on, I'm out, of, I'm out of bolts that I need to go through the rollers. So hopefully they'll be here by next weekend. And I need more wheels to be able to put this one together. I've got one more wheel for this carriage and then I'm out of wheels. So I need three more. So that's a bottleneck. That's what's got me stalled on this portion. I'll put those brackets over here out of the way. And I'll push that up out of the way. <laughs> and then the goal is for this hotbed, start getting Start getting it mounted in my how do I want to do this here? Let's see if I can do it. Alright, so there's the bed and that's a beautiful thing. I love it. Hopefully I have my extrusions cut to the right size. I've got two long ones and two short ones. And let me just go ahead and take that off and set it out of the way too. Okay, and then these should be even shorter. Those are my scrap pieces. See there, I'm getting my own set of Tinker Toys D. Getting, getting a collection of leftover scraps, but we'll find something to do with them. Let me check the chat, Minnesota Maker. Uh, I'm in last place. Ron, no bitch yet. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. You're not in last place. You subbed. You're at the top of the list. You're good for the whole month there, Minnesota Maker. Alright. And that does... Uh, we found out that that's not a 30 days from the time you do it, it's uh, January 1 to February 1 to March 1. And with the Twitch Prime subscription, it doesn't have the auto renew feature. So the first of every month or sometime during the month, whatever, you would have to manually go in and resub. So just putting that out there. Uh, I wish it did do an auto resub, but it doesn't. So 
I'm gonna have to manually trigger that each month. That's all right. You're on month one of your streak. I, I really gotta figure out what kind of benefits I'm gonna offer. I, I wanna come up with something very nice and very good, not cheesy. I'll get that put together. Everything's coming together. I know it looks chaotic and messy and looks like a disaster, but my projects are coming together, my channel's coming together, I got new graphics. So, uh, let me double check. Are you guys hearing me okay? Because I'm away from the mic. I've got the sensitivity turned up pretty good, so hopefully you're hearing me all right. I'll check back in the chat here in a second. Okay, so I've got two longs and two shorts. My two longs are going to be my front and back, and then my shorts are going to be the spreaders here. I hope this is going to work. I hope I didn't waste pieces of extrusion. Give it a shot. Okay, so that's the goal there. See if I have. Uh, see if I've got this right. Now, this. Let me see. This is going to go on the extrusion. Pour the plastic off of these yet, so I like that all of these extrusions. These are from Xyltech. It's a 10 pack for $49.95, a 2020 extrusion, and I love it. They they packed it awesome. Everyone's individually wrapped, so they're not scratched up. Having the plastic on there makes them easy to mark. I take them out to the chop saw with a carbide tip, set them up there, and just cut them get them both exact been having a plastic wrapped individually that causes them when you're holding them in the saw even picky they, they there's no way they're gonna slot slide around very easy you have to not be paying attention at all but if you're holding them with the plastic on there they stick together and, and they cut very well all right, so let me get the rest of this plastic off of here. Make sure you can see. Yep, looks like you can see. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn this camera this way just a little bit. Away from the end of three. So maybe you can see a little better. Less chance of me dropping out of frame where I'm doing something and you can't see me or hear me or whatever. All right, so there's my two long ones. Um, and I think I said in the last video my carriage I've got it set up on here and I think uh, if I remember right I'm getting 450 millimeters of travel which is more than enough on a 400 by 400 bed 110 volt also from Xyltec short one one more short one I don't like having to tear all the plastic off of polycarbonate got one more piece that's not bad comes off pretty easy all right so let me check chat again. All right, so we've got all the plastic off. Now, let's see here. I had this figured out in my head. It always seems to work out better in my head than in reality, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so flip this bed over that's this way to start with and then okay, I'm gonna have they're gonna be the front and back I don't want to 
that way. Okay. So now, this is what I'm thinking, and I think. Uh oh, drop one. If I if I'm correct and I paid attention. I think this is the way D told me he set his up. If not, I made it up in my mind and decided this is what he meant. Put the, the neural thumb nuts on first. And a spring. Then my adapter, or mounting bracket, or whatever you want to call it. And a wing nut. Hmm. Boy, I wish I had my bolts, because now I'm still going to have to take it off. Well, I can kind of pre-test it. Let me see what I got in the way of bolts. Maybe I got enough I can temporarily use something. Just to get an idea. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I can at least get the corners. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might have some short ones. I did... No, I think those are M4s. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Yep, those are M4s. My T-nuts are M5s. Uh, maybe I can use these short ones. Let's try these. Boy, I got the drops today. We might be alright. We might be in business here. We might be able to do a test run. Then I can just change these bolts out when the others come in from Xyotech. Okay, the hole's a little bit tight. So, let me get my Allen wrenches. in yet but if I can get one in there that'll hold it in place just so we can see how it's gonna look and fit let me check chat again that seems like a legit stack stack of what not sure what a stack for bed leveling oh okay so let me put a uh, I think this might work. If I got at least four of these bolts, I think I can I can get it to work. Alright, so now let's put this back on here. Wing nut back on here. I have not tried this yet, so just trying to operate out of how I thought it should be. See if I can turn this up because it's going to stick over the table just a hair on each side because the holes in the table or in the heat bed are so close to the outer edge. Alright, so let's lock this one down. It may not be exactly perfect right now, but I'll fine tune it once I have the right bolts. Boy, that's something else I want to get. I want to get me a set of Allen wrenches with the, the ball driver end that has a screwdriver handle. I haven't 
haven't invested the money in that yet because I've been trying to get the parts and bolts and stuff for the printers. It's more important. I think that's going to work. Hopefully I'll have enough. Alright, so do I have another? I know I got plenty of tea nuts because I bought a hundred of those. So there's another bolt and a nut. And then let's go here on the corner. thumb screw to lock the, the long screw in the bed and I'll tighten these up super tight later so they don't ever come loose and wiggle um, let me check chat again hey Hawk good to see you man I'm doing good just putting some parts together finally on this on this printer job it's not just a chat stream this time we're actually getting some work done and got quite a few people in here it's been doing good so we're making some good progress glad you showed up all right so now there's the second piece now I need another spring make sure you can see can you see the whole yo oh, yeah you can see the whole thing okay I'll try not to block your view. Uh, let me go ahead and start this bolt. These are bolts that I got down at the uh, little country hardware store in a town up the road. Ace wanted like 50 to 85 cents a piece for these bolts. And I went down there and I think I bought 60 bolts. And I just took him up and asked him what he wanted because I know the last couple bolts I bought he gave me for a dime a piece. I went up there and I'm gonna lay them on the counter and let him count them out. You know, 60 bolts at 10 cents a piece is six bucks. So I thought, all right, that's better than anything I can do at Ace. He didn't even count them. He just opened the bag and said, here, dump them in and give me three bucks. So I was like, cool. Can't beat that with a stick. All right, so. Got a little bit of adjustment to do. I'm a little far to the left. I think it's looking good. I think it's going to work good. I do see a, a bit of a problem coming up, but we'll see how we get past it. Oh, no, we won't because I got the thumb screws. Shouldn't have a problem. Well, maybe a little problem. Does anybody know if uh, this rubber mat, the silicone heating pad, can it be cut a little bit or trimmed a little bit around the bowl holes? Otherwise. Otherwise, this center hole here is going to get pinched under the thumb nut. Can I take a razor blade and trim that out? That little, that little notch out. Um, at least you don't have wires hanging about everywhere like Mike does. Ha ha. Yes, about three millimeters max. Does it have a thermostat control? Does it have a thermostat control? What are you talking about, D? Does the bed have a thermostat control? Silicone pad. Well, it's the same. It's the same as yours. It's the 400 by 400 bed. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't have a thermostat control. It's got the solid state relay and then the ramps board. 
You know what? Does that... I never thought about that. Wait a minute here. You know what? That never crossed my mind. There is no thermistor for this board. For this, uh... That's not me. Is there a thermistor? Oh, don't tell me I messed up. Oh, okay. We're good. All right. I didn't I didn't actually look that close. I just saw a red and a black wire. I wondered why they were two different sizes. I wasn't paying attention. So I got my power leads and I got my temperature probe. So my thermistor. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Alright, so that's okay. Thank you, D. I just I wasn't paying attention on that. I at a glance I saw a red and black wire and thought, okay. I got a hot in the ground, so black wire is a 100k thermistor, red wire is 120 volts. Yep, I got that. The ramps board, hot bed, output controls the solid state relay. Yep, I got all that. I actually knew all of that. I just, I guess I got in a hurry and did not look at the two wires. And at a glance, I just saw two wires thinking that was the bed and I forgot all about the thermistor but yep it's all of there it's okay if it's a thin pad you can cut it some silicone pads have heating elements okay um, before I go any more let me sit down here just a second and pop back over here alright so um, kinda shed a little light here uh, I get it. I get what you're saying that I should be able to cut a little bit out. Uh, nichrome wire and about 15 millimeters from the edge. Okay. All right. So I'm not worked with silicone heat pads. I'm not familiar with, you know, the exact layout of that. I've done a lot with heat trace wire for pipes, things like that. So many, you know, so many ohms per foot, so many watts per foot that kind of stuff and I know you can't trim anything off of that you can just cut them off and all that so I wasn't sure about the silicone pad but all, yeah all I need is just a millimeter or two and it, I can actually put the nut on there and pinch the rubber if I had to it'll just make the nut set a little it'll apply a little pressure to one side of the nut more than the other yeah good thing I asked because I definitely don't want to ruin it so I'm with you, definitely with you on the 100K thermistor and the and the the voltage wire. Just wasn't paying attention. And yes, I just need like probably two millimeters off one side. Their uh, their die it looks like it's die cut, and they probably just did not have their die centered up. Because when I put that pad on, I located the four corners so that the holes were centered of the four corner cuts and the ones in the middle or just offset just a little bit all right so let me switch back I think I'm caught up with the uh, chat let me uh, switch back over here to the main printer cam and let's continue alrighty so I'm going to just going to open this hole just a hair it should be fine fine because I'm not going any deeper than I'm not going any deeper than what they're die cut it. I'm just making it a little bit wider, so I should be totally safe. I would I would think. If I mess it up, we will always think it should have been okay. It'll be the first time.
A little better place to work other than the living room, but in there, taking it slowly. I hope we didn't need that copper wire there. I'm kidding. See if I can reach my little... There is a string though in it. I think it's a string. Stupid magnifying glass. Alright, let's see what we got here. I think that was not on string. Sorry guys, my bad. I forgot. I was told anytime I used the jeweler's loop that I was supposed to wear this hat, so there we go. Alright, I think we're good there. That's centered up a little better. Now let's put the next screw in. Looking good. That fits perfect. I've lost my glasses. There they are. I better make sure do I have enough thumb screws I only have four of those or do I have nine eight whatever three question how many of those thumb screws did you have because I got six well six will be enough six will work but I'm missing two I would have thought I'd have had eight of them how many wing nuts do I have Come on now. Hiding down there. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four. Huh. Kind of crazy. Luckily, it's not a problem. 
Let me check the chat here. Six. Six springs, six bolts, six thumb screws, thumb nuts. Four 3D printers, 3D lasers, and CNC mills so far in the collection. Okay, so I have six. The bit has eight holes, but they only give me six bolts. It's okay because based on the design we talked about, I was only going to use six of them anyway because my carriages will be in the way but of those other two holes. But that just seems odd to me why they put eight holes and only give you six bolts. Okay, so back at it. I printed extra, well, let's see if I got another bolt here. Bolt, there's another T-nut. I printed three too many of these brackets, but that's all right. Someday I'll probably use them again. I'm sure there'll be another project come up that they'll be used for. I got three boxes of parts that I didn't like or that didn't work out the way I thought or something. I'm not going to throw them away because you never know. I might be able to convert them into something later. Okay. Well, there goes a spring. Okay. And another piece. That actually worked out perfect. Makes my OCD work a little better. Just to be honest, I was having a little bit of anxiety with the fact that I was not going to be able to put a bracket here and here because of my trolley. The trolley will mount on this rail, the short rail. The trolleys will mount to that those are on there I cannot put a bracket there and that was playing a little havoc with my OCD because it's not my fault and they only give me six to start with it gets me off the hook I don't have to stress over it Sorry if I'm blocking the camera. Well, maybe you can see. Was I blocking the camera? Kind of evenly spaced. Probably wouldn't be fun to try to level a bed with leveling screws anyway. It's bad enough for four. Alright, so there's the front rail. Okay. Let's try this, this without dumping everything. Rotate. Fires out. And naturally the wire is right over that. Off to the right instead of split them. And let's go ahead and cut this. Doesn't need as much, it's pretty close. Just need, we need a little nip off the corner there. Alright, so let's do the center one first. There's that. That's pretty. Fires right up against there. 
Gonna want to put a strain relief so that it doesn't rub and wear there. Okay. Now what? Spring? No. Yes. Spring. Bracket. If I have enough of these little bolts. That one's too long. Lost my range. Good so far. Drastic issues that are going to cause me a problem, yeah? Alright, another peanut. Fingers don't want to parch. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's put this. Some I'm not going to lock it down until I get it centered up. I'll get all three on there and then I'll center it. Check chat. I'm a little bit confused. Oh, wait a minute. I see what's going on here. Hang on. There is something going on. There is something rotten in Denmark here. It looks like all this time it looked like everything was coming from D, but I got somebody here that has a white name and I cannot read the name. Got a white background. Let me see. Here, I'll switch. That didn't fix it. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like I cannot tell who that is. There's Vince. Blight me. I don't know how you see that. I can't see it. I can tell there's letters there, but I can't read them. So I'll take your word for it. Blight me. Welcome, Blight me. I don't know who that is, but I certainly thank you for joining the stream. And I definitely thank you for your input and. He'll have heard of the name. Is that your way of spelling highlighter? Highlight the name. Oh, there we go. Camp created October 2013. Blight me. Welcome, sir. And thank you, Ron. I didn't know I could click on the name and read it. I will uh, click on follow your channel once I get done with the stream here tonight. Blight me. Okay, so, let's see, did I finish reading? Um, seems like crazy talk, I agree. The forces on them, solder joints would fail hell f hella fast. I would tend to agree with that. I would think it would be rougher. I am running the wires on the side for my hypercube in a cable chain. Yeah, but your hypercube table just goes up and down, so... I would think the forces would be equal on no matter which side you run it versus mine's going to be sliding back and forth. And if it was going into the wire and out on the wire, I would think that would be better than pulling the wire from one side to the other. You know, like taking a coat hanger and bending it back and forth, you'd break you break it off a little quicker, I would think. That would be my line of thinking. Um Okay, so 
Let's get back at it. Two more screws to go, and we'll center this part up. That one done. Let's go ahead and put this other one in while we're doing it. On the right screen, yep. Okay, and use a spring. I'm on here at one time. That's no bueno. That's not good. Here. Oh, it's already on the bolt. Never mind. I found it. My bad. Okay. And that bolt's too long. Short. Alrighty. What I'm going to do for the uh, spreader bars, because I don't have those brackets made yet. Those, once I get back on green on the ender. I think it'll take long for me to get these laser parts cut or printed. Back to the green and the last of these parts. By the time the bolts get here. Got to get me or make me a tray to separate these bolts out too to organize them a little better. one probably gonna have to order another bag of tea nuts too soon I got this printer I gotta finish this printer I gotta build the laser and then I gotta make Allie's printer I'm definitely gonna have to get some more tea nuts I went ahead and ordered them on this last order Okay, let's try that one again.
There it went. Okay. Feels like it's centered up pretty well. All right, we've got, got ourselves a bed now. Get this other wing nut on. I'll eventually change these wing nuts out and put big old knobs on there. Easier. Do for now. Okay. All right. Now let's set that out of the way and set that out of the way. Now the big question, did I cut them right? Turn that. Boy, it feels like they're loose. side, one there on each side, and three wheels. One, two, three. That will glide on these wheels, these rollers. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. They, they will glide on these rails, which waiting for the right size bolts for these. They're just sitting there. So I can move these in and out until I have it exactly centered the way I want. on bolts, 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 bolts. All bolts for these kind of things, I ordered 108s and 110s, so I'll have plenty of those. The longer bolts that I need to bolt these things down, getting 20 of each, I ordered an assortment of 100. I wish Xyltec sold the, the bigger ones. These are M6. They're M620s and I needed M625s. This is not true extrusion made for T-nuts. Extrusion from roller blind and there's a, just a plastic, it's kind of like, um, oh, the, the beading that you put around a screen door or a window screen, that's what goes in, in these slots hold the material on the roller blind if you can see that roller blind right there I've got another one on the other side of the room that's what this roller material is it's out of roller blinds so they put that beading material on there and then snap the vinyl into the roller so it's not really designed for t-nuts I can't I can't get the t-nuts to turn in there they're not going to work, but I can take an M6 by 25 bolt, turn the head, up, turn it upside down, and slide the head in the slot, and it fits perfect, kind of like a T nut. And I can drop those saddles over it and put a, a lock washer and a nut, or I'm probably going to buy some M6 poly lock nuts. And uh, um, 
that will lock that down perfect and I won't have a bunch sticking up so so definitely I'm thrilled with the bed let me see here let me uh, pop back to the main screen and take a break here for a second okay so that was some good progress I did get all my cuts right that makes me feel good did not waste any extrusion getting it done I had just enough springs and bolts and nuts everything worked out well uh, get my wheels in get my bolts in I can get it on its rails and rolling I need to print four inside corners and I might even might even print maybe a 20 20 millimeter tall by whatever I don't know 40 50 millimeters long by 5 millimeter thick just a flat piece with holes in it to kind of cap off the open end of the one extrusion and attach it on the out outer perimeter so I have an inside corner with t-nuts and I have an outside brace with t-nuts just for extra strength I don't think it's going anywhere no matter what but I think it'll clean up the looks a little bit and and just add that much more strength so all right let me catch up on strap uh, chat again uh, yep and every printer is set up the same and that's why they give you the option my fear is solder pull and wire bending at the edge of the bed will failure on this style of printer yes and even running this one out the back is still needs a strain relief yes I, I plan on putting a strain relief I would put a strain relief on it no matter where it came out or what style I was making uh, take take the uh, pressure off the joint the connection uh, what type of laser are you making that I don't know I can't say technically uh, D will be able to tell you because I'm following his lead it's XY three axis with rotation no I don't think so going to have the X and the Y and then a third motor to adjust the focal length instead of instead of raising and lowering the laser um, at least at this point that's the way it's going to go that's a project that D dining are there is uh, making and I'm kind of watching his progress as I build mine and uh, it's not going to be real fancy it's going to be very basic frame very basic just you know it may not even have the focal length adjustment I may just do that by hand and just have the X and Y drive it'll be one meter by one meter of, of capacity and I'm mainly just going to use it for wood burning signs and stuff uh, things that we sell in an antique mall and a craft shop up, up in the next town um, I don't know I'm just gonna experiment with it I bought the 10 pack of extrusion so I had the extra and thought you know I'll have enough left over for that I'll just tinker with it as far as I know what I'm gonna end up with from what I've heard so far I'm looking at a 15 watt laser for $100 I'm going to set a budget of $100 for the laser and just get the uh, strongest laser I can get for a $100 bill, whatever that may be. Uh, seems like I'm going to be able to get a, a 15 watts, uh, but whatever that buys. I don't know. I'm not that far along. This is kind of a uh, fill-in. I'm not really ready to make that my primary project yet, but while I'm printing, I'm going to go ahead and make the brackets. Uh, honestly, I don't have 
room to set up a one meter by one meter laser in the living room here so I will if I have to but I'm hoping we'll be over in the other house where I have a full basement and I can set up 20 machines if I want so um, let me see here let me check and see if order has been shipped and if not see if they can add a hundred pack of tea nuts not that big a deal D. I, I'm gonna have another order like I said in a week and a half um, I'll have another order for filament before that hopefully I do have money set aside for filament uh, let's see never mind it was already shipped out today awesome I didn't think they'd ship today but that's good that means I'll definitely have it soon I need to check the tracking numbers on my uh, on my Amazon bolts too they hopefully they'll be here in a couple days so really be able to make progress on the next stream that, that sucker hopefully that bed on the next stream will have that thing rolling good deal then I can start on the drive motor and the uh, belt pulleys and all that uh, build look nice for a Franken printer Thank you. I appreciate that. It's uh, definitely a Franken printer. Um, XY plotter. No need for Z axis motor. I can send you vid of my piecemeal XY plotter to give an idea on the build design. Yes, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um. Are you in my Discord? If not, I can send you a link to my Discord. It's a little easier to transfer links and stuff in there. I'd be happy to send you an invite after we get done streaming. I will I have to remember. I have a bad memory. Um... I will remember to follow you and send you an invite to the Discord in a whisper, I guess. Or you can send me a whisper and I can just reply to it. That'll help me remember if you wanted to do that. Um, let's see. Seems like I had one more project. To work on I'm not gonna I'm not gonna strip off well, I might strip the top of that printer off how about I do that I can lose this hat now that was just being silly but somebody did tell me anytime I use the uh oh V Simpkins is now following thank you Vince I appreciate you following me sir glad to have you aboard Glad to have you uh, show up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's the most important support I can get is just having you show up and, and hang out and participate in chat. That brings me more joy than anything. But I will... I will... Uh, I will... Uh, thank you for following. I appreciate that very much. Yes, 3D Medic Vince. I knew that was you. Let me get rid of this hat. Put it back over there in the grandbaby's big old toad of dress up. I got a ton of hats over there. Um, X-Way plotters are workhorses, but a radio arm bot with a laser has style. I would have to agree with that. That's probably over my skill level at this point, but maybe someday. I don't expect my project list to end until the day I die, so. Better check the time. Yep, we got we're good on time. Um Alright, so let me pop back over there. I'm gonna raise the camera up a little bit. The, some of the next projects that I gotta print when I get back on green is uh Gonna print some cable chain, but I also gotta print a new control board case. 
and possibly a new display case. Um, I'm looking at this minion case on Thingiverse that D sent me a link to. I kind of like the layout of that, and it's made for the ramps board. You started with a $40 Arduino kit off eBay and YouTube videos. There's no skill cap in life. You're right. That's right. Just keep on going. Take it one step at a time. I love learning new stuff. The problem is I want to do so many things and I can't do them all and I can't do them all at once. But I just keep plugging away. Easier to see. There we go. Okay. So there's the top. The display case turned out fine. It was actually made for a 2020 extrusion. I adapted it to fit the round extrusion. Let me untie these wires so I don't tear those up. I don't have any bolts or set screws in this yet because I'm still doing some fine tuning on it. I'm not going to lock everything down until I have it dialed in where I want it. Go ahead and take this off. This off. This without tearing them up. separate it. There's my display. It worked out pretty well. I was very happy with that. Problem is, when I was building this on a lower table. It was not a big deal, but when I put it up on my bench here, I'd have to have a stepladder to use it. So we're going to change the plans up. It's no longer going to be up there. It's going to be down here. And my board case had some issues with layer adhesion with all of the little cable way pieces and I was a little bit off for clearance for that board so that was a fail that one's got to go I was having you can see I was having trouble with layer adhesion that was during uh, bad time with my ender we got those bugs worked out and the Ender's printing awesome now again. So we'll move on down the road with that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm planning on planning on running that uh, minion case. See if I can do this without tripping over wires. And let me bring that camera back down. Looks like we're getting close to having a second foot done for the laser and uh, I'm leaning towards that minion case I just like the way the style of it the way it is and everything will fit in there and it'll be nice and I'll put it on uh, put all the wires on connectors so that I can plug and unplug it and that way I can uh, Eventually when I have multiple machines if I need to I can just unplug the cables move that controller over to another machine and, and fire it right back up If I blow a board or something Gives me a little bit of uh, modular design where I can move things around on the fly You have the same thing hobby ADD. Yep, 
I've had that my whole life. I've started a million projects, been into a million things, and then move on to something else. I get bored easy. I don't think it's going to happen with this hobby, though. I think there's more than enough options and, and things that you can do in this, in this arena with 3D printers and... Uh, the lasers and everything there's so many different options I'm excited to go to Murph and see all the neat things up there I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of inspiration from things I see people doing um, this big 3D printer uh, I don't know that you've been around if you've seen any of the older videos when I started this out I was making out the printer out of square tubing that I got at the, the uh, junkyard for free square aluminum tubing that were like uh, oh they were scroll work pillars for a porch that I took all the little scroll work out of and ended up with some square tubing and I was making all of my brackets and stuff by hand out of sheet metal and it was just very very frustrating so I ended up, I was trying to avoid spending the money to buy a printer. I was trying to build one. And it was taking forever and I'm impatient. So I ended up buying the Ender 3 and it has, it has uh, sped up the process of building this big printer 10 times. So, and it's also given me the ability to do a lot of learning with 3D printing on its own because melting plastic and, and all of the things that go along with that is totally different than what I'm used to. I've worked with CNC machines with plasma cutters and welding equipment and things like that for over 20 years. But, you know, it's like everything else. You might know plasma cutters, but that doesn't mean you can melt plastic and make it stick, you know. Everything has its little techniques and the only way to learn it is through experience. So, I'm gaining experience while I build my own printer. But I'm very happy with it. Um, let's see. Difference between men and boys is the size and price of their toys. Yep. All in all, I think I've got... Uh, well, let's see. I've got... I'll have less than $300 in the big printer. I was going to be about $180 before I bought the bed and the 2020. So. I don't know. Probably $275 I'll probably have in it. And I checked and I know I'm going to have... 450 capacity on the Y. Um, I forget what I said on the on the X. I believe it was like 525, and on the Z, I'm expecting it to end up around 550. And for the extra money, I got a 110 volt hotbed with a solid state relay and everything ready to roll the glass the whole package where before I was going to use actually I was going to use a hot plate that I got at Goodwill I've got three of them out in the garage now um, but they would have worked I know I can make them work and I may still use them at some point on some some little project um, add a blaster X since 3d to your add-on list for this hobby not sure what that is but I will look it up Ender 3 is a workhorse I agree totally that sucker has other than my little issue here a couple weeks ago which was my fault uh, clogged nozzle I changed the nozzle didn't get the nozzle tightened up so it was leaking around the threads I did not heat it up when I changed the nozzle I just put it in cold and I paid the price. I, I spent probably an hour and a half 
picking plastic off of it, but after I got it all dialed back in and cleaned the nozzles, she's been running like a champ ever since. So um, I use it as a full body 3D scanner to make statues for the 3D printers and CNC. Blaster X Sense 3D. I will definitely have to look at it. Matter of fact, let me make a little note here. Just today, everybody was, uh, I wasn't in there. I was not feeling well today, but I had YouTube up and I was on the couch listening. And uh, everybody was playing with the new beta version of E3D's new slicer. Path.io, Path Pathio, whichever way you want to go with that. Um, I downloaded that and installed it. I will play with that tomorrow. Everybody's telling me that it is doing a lot better than Cura so far, and uh, I'm going to look into that. So if you have not heard of it or had anything, any exposure to it, you might check that out. Go to pathio.xyz and look at their little video. You can download their beta version and be part of uh, the development. I I believe you, D. From what you've showed me already, uh, I believe I'm going to like it a lot. I'll be playing with that in the morning. Uh, let's see. An RGB camera, an infrared camera, and a laser projector all in one webcam. Really? $150 to $200. Oh, that's where you're starting to deter me, though. I'm on a very tight budget and trying to build actually three printer, two printers and a laser. Because on top of the laser project and this big printer, uh, my wife has volunteered me and I have no complaints. We're going to start building my granddaughter's first 3D printer. And it's going to be a small copy of a Ender 3D or an Ender 3. Uh, just to get her started and then we'll see where it goes from there but I figure if she can build it from scratch she will know more about it than the average person that just orders one online and downloads things from Thingiverse she's already good at graphic design and and uh, took it in school and designed some things in school but unfortunately her teacher was unable and unskilled enough to be able to print all of the students projects so she has since sent it to me through my discord and I printed it for her and she's gonna get to see it for the first time I believe next Saturday dream project is an in move build but like $1,300 build yeah you're definitely out of my league there man uh, uh, Blight me. It's, it's tricky. i got to figure out uh, what I can do because it looks like whoever the last person was that um, typed something, it's a continuation of their post. So I don't know if I have the ability to change the background color of my chat room so that I can see you there. Um, Minnesota Maker seems like a decent slicer. Probably like anything new, it will need some tweaking. I'm sure. I'm sure. And that's the process. That's the beta process. That's what it's there for. They know it's going to have bugs and it's going to need fixes and they need feedback. So it's going to be fun to be part of that, actually. I went and I signed up to be part of their community and I also downloaded the software and created an account. And uh, I heard everybody talking about creating an account, but I didn't hear anybody talking about joining the feedback community so if you haven't done that or maybe maybe creating an account gives you both I don't know but if not you might look into that probably the Oz, Oz of Twitch you got a lot of content on your channel have I been to your channel I might follow your channel even um, let's see if I have Actually, 
My lights will go a little bit dark because I can pull my Twitch page up here. I think I am following. I might be following you. Following. Recent. Well, let me just type you in here. P L I D H T M E. I mean, gotcha. Uh, videos. Not making any videos yet? Need to get on that. Follow. I am not following you, but I am now. And I will receive notifications when you put something up. And let me also, while I'm here, go in here. Uh oh. Robbie Max sending me. Sending me messages, I'd find out what that's about. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, my channel. I blaze and build Arduino robots. Well, I wish you, I wish you, do you do YouTube or anything? Twitch channel? Hang on. Life size 3D printed robot with kinetic mimic abilities and make it a Twitch channel and run it off cam. I'll be the Oz of Twitch. I blaze and build Arduino robots. I will never do VODs. At some point I know they will be used as Exhibit A in my social media downfall. <laughs> okay. That's alright. That's alright. That'd just be cool to see some of your work. Sounds like you're into some really, really cool projects. On YouTube I do a mobile VR 360 IRL live stream. Okay. What's your... Uh, is your YouTube is your YouTube uh, name the same? Like me on YouTube with a space. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go over there and uh, I'm on YouTube as well. You can find me on Papaw's Projects about anywhere: Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. I think a couple other places that I just don't advertise I've I've forgotten about um, but yes I will go over there and I will subscribe to your YouTube channel because I'd be interested to see and see some of the things that you're doing sounds pretty cool oh, let me switch back to my uh, main cam you probably don't want to watch the, the printer all day I have to find out why uh, my sub goal did not change. That should have went up to two. And I'll have to check my bits goal. I think it's off. Matter of fact, I know it's off. <clears throat> Put video in dash dash mods. Something that I've never heard of. Uh oh. What do we got? Light me is now following. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Nate Hale. Nice to meet you, Nate. And I will watch that video after I get done streaming. Thank you very much for putting that in there. And I'm glad to have you uh, as a member of my Discord. And joining me on the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I think I covered, I got the bed done, I got the controls off, getting ready to finish leg number two, I got two more legs to do and then I got to design, I'm going to, I think I'm going to design, I'm going to look at some of the samples that D sent me for the laser, but I think I'm going to design my own bracket, I've got a little bit of a different idea that I want to try, it may fail like a lot of my, uh, a lot of my designs but I eventually get it there sometimes I need quite a bit of help but yeah I think that's I think that's all the parts that I have so that's all that's all the work that I can get done today my bolts sounds like my bolts have been shipped I'll check I'll check on my Amazon and see if those bolts are on their way and put up another stream sometime this week and 
we will put some more of this printer together because that will that will eliminate one huge bottleneck uh, I should have all of the laser plastic parts hopefully done by then be back on the green spool and making more printer parts this uh, we're gonna put this Ender 3 to the test this is the hardest I've worked it since I bought it so I'm actually letting it run all night now so and I have let it run multiple parts and it's not failed me so we're looking good found out what was causing my carriage to wobble in printing needed to add a nut to the three millimeter bolts so they stay tight to the print but good stream today mine is as basic as a build gets I yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to take a look at that video let's see we've been on here two hours that's a that's a pretty long stream for me as everybody knows um, I think we will probably just call it here let me uh, back up and cover a few things for anybody that wasn't here in the beginning um, obviously follow if you can I appreciate it if you have Amazon Prime you automatically get free twitch prime so you get free subs take advantage of those don't let those that go to waste help support other streamers even even if I'm not your favorite streamer take advantage of that you're paying for it through Amazon so you might as well use it link your Amazon Prime to your twitch prime and get your free sub every month don't forget you'll have to resubscribe each month it's not an auto renewal um, bits if you don't buy bits you can get them by watching those ads and uh, use those to help support streamers I do the same I support quite a few streamers hosting if you do have a channel and you're not currently streaming add to your host list I'd appreciate it if you'd add me to your host list so that when your channel's idle if I'm streaming I will get exposed to uh, more viewers and help this channel grow and if you don't like my content I guess don't host me uh, but hopefully you do like it and I do intend on it getting better um, take advantage of the coupon code that you see flashing on the bottom of the screen. I think it comes up every three minutes. It is for Xyltech, 15% off. Um, I am impressed with that company. Everybody that I've talked to is impressed with their filament. They have tons of parts and, and it goes in for th everywhere from Arduinos and, and Raspberry Pis and those kind of things, electronic boards, motors to extrusions and bolts to filament they have all kinds of stuff $75 or more you get free shipping 15% uh, off and I don't want to misquote it but I think it is 3DPSC is the coupon code hopefully it'll pop back around here maybe I can uh, trigger it or maybe D can plug it in there Yes, Xyltech does ship fast and on holidays. Um, good stream, Ed. Have a good evening, all. Awesome customer service. I haven't had to use them. Got a direct connection. Got an inside track there with D. So if you have any questions about Xyltech, D Diner 11. He's here on Twitch. He's on YouTube. Um. You'll find them all over the place. Here comes the uh, sponsor banners. So we'll give it just a second for the Xyltech coupon code to pop up just to make sure that I did say it correctly. Don't trust. Da -da -da. There's all my contacts and there we go. It's 3DPSC. That is the coupon code for 15% off at Xyltech and it does not expire. Matter of fact, uh, D is working currently working on trying to get an increase on that so if we use it and and it works off good and we get enough people using it maybe they'll be considerate enough to up that to 20 percent 
So show him some love. <clears throat> All that being said, I want to thank everyone, every single one of you, for joining me. This was an awesome stream. I know I've seen nine on there at one point. Um, that's great. That's a that's a record for me. And hopefully my content will continue to get better and better and I will get more and more content as supplies come in. And we will hopefully catch another one here a little bit later in the week that I cannot tell you when yet, but uh, you can about always count on the Monday 4.30 to up to 7 o'clock, depending on how things go. So if you don't catch me later in the week, definitely catch me Monday at 4.30. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate you all. And appreciate all the bits and all the subs. You have made my day. It's been a wonderful day. Started out bad. I did not feel good. And now I'm leaving here feeling wonderful. Thanks for coming. And I will catch you in the next video. See ya.